The Navy is building onto its arsenal of unmanned aircraft technology with the added urgency of the skies over Southern Maryland. At the center of it all, the newly minted UX-24, formerly known as NOC AD's UAS Test Directorate. The unit gained its new designation during an Assumption of Command ceremony in 2018. So it's really a big event, and what it means uh, for us is huge. It's not only the transition from the Directorate to the Squadron, but it's also the Navy saying, hey, unmanned aircraft and uh, developmental test of these systems is important. Not only because of the explosion of growth uh, in the commercial sector, but also capabilities it can provide for the military. Uh, UX-24 is an important step in the Navy's commitment to the, the future fight. UAVs, unmanned technology is going to be a uh, huge contributing factor to the, the warfare of tomorrow. Uh, and having a squadron dedicated to, to the pursuit of that technology is a, a big step for the Navy. Based mostly at Patuxent River Naval Air Station's Webster Outlying Field, UX-24 is working to revolutionize readiness by providing speedy and effective research, development test, and evaluation support. It's, these are rapid tests, so because a lot of times these are very easy to fly, a lot of time they require just slight modifications. Uh, so based on the personnel and facilities that we have here, uh, such as dedicated airspace, we're able to quickly do the modifications, uh, write the test plan, go fly, and get data back to the customer. So there's the, the Speed to the Fleet initiative where, hey, now we can send uh, you know, a robot to go do a man's job instead of, you know, potentially putting somebody in harm's way, uh, sending up a, a technological system that can do all those things uh, remotely uh, is just another added benefit that we're providing to the Navy. And those tests involve a hangar full of fixed and rotary wing unmanned aircraft like the MQ-8 Fire Scout, the RQ-21 Blackjack, and a number of other smaller systems. So UX-24 is generally broken into two branches. You have a, a small tactical branch uh, that's dealing with uh, smaller style UAVs, quadcopters, and, uh, and other fixed wing. Uh, and then a second branch is the MQ-8 Fire Scout project. So everything's quicker from the technology that they want to field. A lot of it's uh, at a higher readiness level. So it's just a matter of integrating on what you want to fly and then going to fly it.